My name is Matt Dixon, Director of Financial and Business Analysis at Amsoil, and I'm into British bikes. My brother and I started working on bikes together at an early age. I mean, if they broke, we had to fix them. So we, you know, worked together on fixing the mini bikes when we were at a very young age. We've always had a love for motorcycles and tinkering on stuff mechanically. As we've moved through our lives and gotten older, we decided to start working on some projects together. I came across a bike, you know, that would require a lot of uh, attention and care, and we just started working on the project together. It took us about three years to, to get it uh, completed. It's a 1972 Triumph Bobber uh, Bonneville oil and frame bike, which uh, we just completed and got out on the road this year. Back in post-World War II, when the British would actually remove parts from a bike, they call it, it's been bobbed. So the bike then took on the name as a bobber. So this is a bobber. It's a bike that has had many parts of it that have been removed. As you can see, it doesn't have a speedometer doesn't have tachometer, doesn't have blinkers on the front or the rear, and as you can see, it does not have a front fender at all, and the rear fender, which normally would come down from here, has been brought up to this point, and the frame has been removed from this point here, which would normally have all the suspension. Uh, the only suspension right now on the rear end of the bike is uh, the springs underneath the seat, uh, which does make it a very rough ride. The only gauge on the bike is actually an oil pressure gauge which is mounted underneath here and it's actually mounted upside down so I'm riding the bike I can lean forward and see what the oil pressure is. We have upgraded the carburetors. Uh, we decided to stick with the original positive earth ground electrical system and we've modified the exhaust system of course to be lightweight, short and with no mufflers. I really really like the way it sounds. So now that the bike's completed, uh, there's bike events around the Duluth Superior area. One that I attended this weekend, which was called Bring Out Your Dead, it had a local uh, English pub called Sir Ben's. There was probably 185 bikes from Norton's to BSAs to Triumphs to, it was a really, really fun event. Uh, one gentleman came up to me and said, boy, he said, I really like the design of the bike. He nailed it. It's exactly how we did it back in the 60s, early 60s. And he said he loved the way the bike sounded. And he turned to his wife and said, boy, I wish uh, my bike sounded that good. And so to get kind of that positive feedback that you did a good job on the build, it was, it was a lot of fun, very satisfying. Well, at Amsoil, I'm a director of financial uh, business and analysis. And uh, so I have a group of analysts that actually report to me. And we, you know, we're, we're on spreadsheets. We're into the analysis financial of things. Uh, but to me, when I joined the company nine years ago, it was really exciting to see how much they put into the motorcycle and power sports, which is obviously an area that I enjoy quite a bit. Typically when I get done with a day at work, if I just want to go out and go for a nice ride in the evening, my brother and I, we go on a lot of rides together. You know, that's what I really enjoy. Um, I was thinking about the bike, how is it running mechanically. I really like to work on motorcycles. My name is Matt Dixon, Director of Financial and Business Analysis at Amsoil, and I'm into British bikes. <laughs>